Hello everyone, we thank God for this day, and we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We need God more today than we did yesterday. Amen. And we give praises and glory to a God that cannot and will not fail. Amen. I'm excited about this first Sunday because there is a word, amen? amen? And I understand that it's sad times in America, but we serve a living God, amen? amen. Yes. And so I thank God that we understand that we need more praise and also prayers and it's just amazing because we used to be a nation of Christians as a matter of fact in the 60s we used to uh, be about 67 percent strong and out of that 67 percent that confessed Christ perhaps 49 percent was practicing in the church but the sad news is that now we have 49 percent that are confessing Christ and only 29 percent that are practicing so we have a whole lot of work to do, amen? amen? But also, we have lost sight of the prize, which is Christ Jesus. And I know that we're going through in this nation, in this support of the family of Aubrey and uh, Floyd, we know for a fact that their hearts are hurting, but we must pray for them and we must understand that this too must not happen again. Amen? Amen. And so we are sincere in giving them our condolences and our prayers from Appalachian Shoals Missionary Baptist Church. Our motto is, we are one in the spirit. Amen? Amen. And so this month, we are going to do some things, uh, even though we cannot come together, but we will celebrate uh, our Deaconess anniversary. And we thank God for our Deaconess. Oh, yeah. And somebody ought to shout right now, uh, Lord have mercy, because they're married to our deacons, amen? But the fact of the matter is, my wife, she says the same thing too, amen? That's why when I stand before everyone, I say, uh, you know, he who findeth the wife, findeth the good thing, and obtain favor from the Lord. So we are glad to be here, but also we need to keep in mind of our graduates, they will be going off uh, to college and uh, also to the military. Keep them lifted up in your prayers. And we are here to also give them a, a special token of love. And we thank God for Minister Avery Brooks who was supporting them and directing them. Amen? Amen. And then last but least, but please America. We used to be a godly nation. And we just pray that you will find in your heart to just have compassion and love for those who do not look like you, those who do not talk like you, and those who do not smell like you. And we pray that uh, you would know that in the Bible it says that if you diligently seek God, there is a reward. Amen. So we pray that you would enjoy this message, and we pray that uh, you would find it in your heart to keep it and let it be able to give you some joy as we go forward.
bless those that's on the way. And then God, right now, bless those at home, Lord God, that's watching us as we stream, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for just being God. We thank you just for all that you do, God. All that you've already done. We thank you, God. And God, we will bless your name, God. Right now, God, we ask and pray that you give our pastor more wisdom and understanding, God. Crown his head with more wisdom, Lord God. Father God, and he will understand that John choose to break the bread of life, Lord God. And then God, right now, don't forget about our first lady, Lord God, and their family, Lord God. Bless every family that's going through right now, God. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, bless every church, Lord God. Father God, give us peace, Lord God. That surpasses all understanding, God. And we thank you for just being so good to us. Better than good, God. You said that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. So God, we thank you for that, God. We thank you for being who you are in our lives, God. Now God, give us peace, God. Give us joy, God. Give us more of you, God. Enable us to stand on your word to thank God. And then, God, if there's anything that we fail to ask you for, God, we ask and pray that you grant it to us, Lord God. Forgive us for our sins, Lord God. All the wrong things we thought about and said, but God, that didn't come out, God. We thank you for that, God. And God, right now I ask for a special prayer for Appalachian Shows, Lord God. That you just wrap your loving arms around us, Lord God. Bless the bereaved family tonight, God. Oh, God, right now, search us, Lord God. And God, enable us to just to be vessels about your business, God. Father God, thank you for everything as well as it is, God. We thank you for just being God. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for keeping us. And then, God, when we can't even keep ourselves, thank you, God. And then, God, right now, bless the voices, Lord God. Continue to anoint them in Jesus' name, I pray. And then, God, right now, we give you all the praise, God. We give you all the honor because we know that you're worthy, God. Worthy of all our praise, God. And we thank you, God. Thank you for every mountain. Thank you for every valley, God. Father God, you said that you would be with us even until the end of this world. So God, we thank you now. And we love you, God. In Jesus' holy and righteous name, we do ask it all. Amen.
this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am just excited about this day because this is where we get our food for thought. And that comes from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is our first Sunday, and on first Sunday, we have communion, and we are looking forward to this message. And there is a word, and I thank God for those who came out today, but also those who are listening to us on Facebook and YouTube. And we certainly invite you to share this message with your friends and family. Amen. Yeah. And so today we are going to be uh, coming out of the book of Luke, uh, out of the 23rd chapter. And we will start at the 34th verse, that, that is Luke, the 23rd chapter. For those who have your Bibles, uh, you can read along with me. And when you go down to the 34th verse, it says, Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them deride him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of of the Jews. I want to stop right there and I want to talk about he's gone but not forgotten. Amen. Let me say this again, he is gone but not forgotten. In this season of uncertainty, we now face the inevitable fact that we are in a deadly pandemic. Death is now becoming a natural fact. We used to be protected by the raw data that if you did certain physical acts or lived unhealthy lifestyles, it would be a great recipe for not staying on this earth. Right. Now that we have a deadly disease that, that does not discriminate about what you do or how you live, it is the best time to talk about the one that has gone but not forgotten. Amen. Amen. Since we have conceded that we will die of something and death is out of our control, then I believe we need to invest more in the afterlife than the present state mm -hmm. that we live in. Oh, yeah. It used to be said that everybody wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. Amen. And I truly believe that most of this nation stopped believing in going to heaven. Mm -hmm. My conclusion is based on how we are quick to write off life as a sad situation that no one has the pity or compassion to sustain the five basic needs. Mm -hmm. And in this model, according to the Maslow theory, our most basic need is for physical survival. Uh -huh. Amen. And judging on our Memorial Day weekend, it looked like we have tossed that out of the window. And when I see our society forsaking human life mm -hmm. and subscribing to high risk living, yes. then it's a perfect time to talk about life after death. Mm -hmm. I truly believe we are living in our last days yeah, yeah. and we are living uh, an unholy life and of course we need to lean to the one who predicted that this day is here and it looks like that he is forgotten mm -hmm. but when Jesus was trying to give his generation a look at the future mm -hmm. he right. started with this observation he said there will be war and rumors of wars there will be famines and plagues and earthquake mm -hmm. and we are now the recipient of all of these prophetic outbreaks. Well, and I come to tell you that it's our jobs as ministers to tell folks about the one that has gone to be on the right hand of the Father and that he will surely return. Amen. 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 We have seen prophecy being fulfilled right before our eyes. Amen. And we still have our eyes shut wide. Mm -hmm. And I come to tell you that the scripture teach me that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor enter into the heart of man, the thing that God has prepared for those who love him. Amen. I don't know about you, but I truly love the yes. Lord. Amen. Yes. And I've been told, amen, that if we are able to bring spirituality back to this nation, uh -huh. it will be by 
people telling that Jesus is gone, but he is coming back. Yes, he is. And Boy. since this is First Sunday, it's important to lay out the argument that first, Jesus was crucified. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. And second, he is sitting on the right hand of the Father. Yes. Oh, yeah. There's been many books written on the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. And some disagree with the fact that it's happened at all. In other words, I have studied the possibility that Jesus may have been the figment of man's imagination. Mm -hmm. And I can argue that they may have great evidence of that fact. Well, because truth of the matter, I wasn't there. Uh -huh. However, I can say on a personal basis, mm -hmm. I only can tell you what happened to me. Well, when I found myself crying out in the name of Jesus, yes, yes. the best evidence anyone could have is a personal testimony yes. of what Jesus has done yes. for them. Yes. That's why we preach Christ. Yes. We are Christ-centered because uh -huh. we believe that in order for him to live, we cannot forget oh. what he has done for us. Amen. Amen. We're living in a time where all of our basic decency is thrown out of the window mm -hmm. for the sake of self. Mm -hmm. There is a quote by a president that every political party seemed to lean on, but few has captured its true essence. Mm -hmm. This president was trying to keep the nation together and often used the Bible to bring forth fruit of love and compassion. Mm -hmm. And in the Lyceum Address, Lincoln warned his audience about rising the visions and tensions within American society. He encouraged them to reaffirm their commitment to the rule of law and rejected fractional conflicts and violence. Mm -hmm. And in the same manner, Jesus stated, render what is under Caesar and what is under God render unto him. We have forgotten our basic rule of compassion. Well, we have forgotten how to love yeah, unconditionally. Amen. Amen. And we use hate as a weapon to oppress those who cannot speak for themselves. I'm but if I can say one thing about what another prominent American said, mm -hmm. he said, if you keep your foot on a person's neck, mm -hmm. you're going to have two problems. Mm -hmm. The first problem is that that person can't move. Mm -hmm. And the second problem, neither can you. Well, mm -hmm. If we are going to get past this separation of love, we need to remember what Jesus did for us on the cross. Amen. Amen. I witnessed a violent act performed on one of our citizens, and it made my blood boil. Yes, oh, yes. yes. Excuse me, out of nowhere, <coughs> nowhere, out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And I became so angry that I wanted to sin. Yes, Lord. And that's when it hit me mm. what Jesus did for me yes. on the cross. Amen. I began to remember all the times that I sinned against my family. I, I began to remember all of the times when I sinned against my friends. I remember all the times, even when I sinned against God. Well, well. And the one thing that brought me back to my faith was what Jesus did for me on the cross. Yes, it's amen. the point that deserves the right to talk about yes. what Jesus has done for us Thank on Lord. the cross. Yes. He's gone, uh -huh. but not forgotten. Thank you, Lord. That's yes. what Jesus has done for me. Yes. He took the hate for people who do not know what they do against me. Mm -hmm. He took the desire for me to kill those who have done me wrong or it, uh, done the injustice of a nation that has lost its decency. Oh, yeah. We need to remember what Jesus done for us on the cross. Oh yes, amen. And if I could offer my European American brothers this advice. You ran from your nation because of the injustice and your inability to practice your religious freedom. Mm -hmm. And you came to this country trying to teach us about a God that cannot and will not fail. Amen. And you must understand that if you live by hate, you will die by it. Amen. And that hate will consume you until you are in your grave. Amen. Because I have to say to myself, if it had not been for God, yes. on my side, Maybe I would have been locked up in one of your institutions. Yes. Um, better yet, maybe I would have been on the most wanted list. Oh, yeah. I thank God that I have not forgotten Amen. what this nation has taught me about Jesus. Yes. Yes. Let's look at the text. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is the last days of Jesus. And it's been captured by the writing of Luke to give a detailed account of the one who has been given the title King of the Jews. Mm -hmm. 
This title was given in mockery to the fame and shame of man that preached the gospel. It was to discourage anyone from speaking out against the Jewish religion mm -hmm. and the Roman government. Mm -hmm. It was to deter those who had the courage to preach about his crucifixion. It was a plot to kill the one that disrupted the social economic economy. Mm -hmm. In other words, my sisters and brothers, well, no one liked Jesus. Amen, mm -hmm. amen. The doctors despised his treatment methods. Uh -huh. The restaurant owners didn't approve of his generosity. Well, well. The funeral directors complained about his interference. Not at all. And now the religious leaders mm -hmm. have had enough. All right, all right. He was teaching a different doctrine of love and compassion. Mm -hmm. And for that, mm -hmm. he was put to death. Oh, yeah, oh, so yeah. Yeah. He was teaching that we should love one another regardless yeah. of what we look like. Amen. Regardless how we talk. Yeah. Regardless how we smell, yeah. he demonstrated that he could love his enemies uh -huh. and pray for them yes. because he stood for righteousness. Yes. And because of that, he made people feel uncomfortable around him, right. especially those who sin. Uh -huh. Amen. And even today, mm -hmm. I've made my mind up to follow him. Amen. Because even when I think about who he is, mm -hmm. he made me feel uncomfortable about sin. Mm -hmm. I'm like Paul, I, I claim to be the chief sinner, mm -hmm. but because of the one who died on the cross, yes. the yes. one that gave me life and life more, Thank you, Lord. I can Thank love you. my enemy. Yes. I can pray for those yes. who despitefully use oh, yes. oh, yes. And the one thing that I have not forgotten, uh -huh. I want to be ready when Jesus yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And it's for this reason mm -hmm. why, why God gave us an unscheduled vacation. Oh, yeah. It's for us to acknowledge what is more important oh, yeah. than what money can buy. Amen. It's for us to acknowledge that we don't have to worry about driving our fancy cars. Mm -hmm. it, it's for us to re realize that even if you got a good job, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you can get into heaven. Amen. Amen. And for us to understand oh, yeah. What his son did for us on the cross My Lord, is right here in the Bible. Yes. Verse 34 tells us Jesus uttered these words. Mm -hmm. Father, yes, sir. forgive them, yeah. for they know not what they did. It was a plea to God for him to have mercy yes. for those who hated his son's teaching. Mm -hmm. It was a plea for them who had no compassion for human life. Mm -hmm. It was a plea for the sin of man. Yes. I refuse to believe we have a race problem in America because there is only one race, the human race. Mm -hmm. And every time someone tries to destroy one person because of his color or his gender or his accent, then you are really tearing at the fabric of human decency. Mm -hmm. I do believe that the real problem in America is that America has a sin problem. Yes. Oh, yeah. And since we have a sin problem, we need to go to the one that could heal us all. Amen. Amen. I come to tell somebody, it's something about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Especially Amen. when you are so angry, you want to go and tear up something. Yes. It's something about the name of Jesus. Yes. I come to tell somebody I know about the Father. Yes. But the question is, who was Jesus crying out to? He was crying out to the Father. Amen. It wasn't his stepfather, Joseph, mm -hmm. like most of us can call out. But it wasn't the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. He was calling on God, the Father. Yes, the yes. one who created the stars, the sun, yes. and the moon. Oh, yes. He was crying out to the yes. creator of the yes. ends of the earth. Yes. The upholder of the righteousness yes. that what yes. we supposed to be oh, about. Oh, yes. He was crying out about the ruler mm -hmm. who was rational and intelligent above all men. Yeah. It was this Father, yes. the Father of Jesus, of one whom God had united to himself in the closest bond of love and intimacy. Mm -hmm. In closing, my sisters and brothers, oh, yeah. we need to know about this one. Yes. We need to get acquainted. Mm -hmm. Because when we get acquainted, we will understand the purpose. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, we need to understand that he was appointed, mm -hmm. amen, to carry out among men the plan of salvation. Yes. And I come to tell somebody that had it not been for the Lord on my side, yes, yes, yes. where would I be? Thank you, Lord. And it's Thank for this reason 
Yes. That verse 34 resonates in my heart forever mm -hmm. because of my own indiscretions well, yeah. and my transgressions. Mm -hmm. That I thank Jesus yes. for this shout out. Yes. When he says, Father, yes. Father forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yes. He knew that I needed a Lord and Savior. Yes. I thank God because in my human nature, mm -hmm. I would be ready to tap something yes, because of the injustice and the transgression on this earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I remember, my sisters and brothers, I once was lost, yeah. but now I'm found. Yeah. I remember I once was blind, yeah. but now I see. Yeah. Because he saved a rich man. Yeah. I'm too wise to believe everyone can get what I have. Uh -huh. But I do know somebody that can mm -hmm. save anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. And that's why when you read verse 34, it tells me that Jesus is making a universal plea oh, yeah. to the world that God is using him as his only begotten son. Oh, yeah. And whosoever believeth in him yeah, 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 shall yeah. not perish, but shall have yeah. everlasting life. Yeah. It's where we need to repent for our sins mm -hmm. and have a moment of coming to Jesus. Yeah. And then my sisters and brothers, when you look at verse 35 and 36, oh, yeah. uh -huh. it suggested that he could not save himself. Mm -hmm. Isn't it like our haters? They always think when times look bad that all they can think about of how you're going to get out of the situation. But I come to tell somebody, I come to lay my life down on verse 35 and 36. Because it suggested that he could not save himself. But I come to tell you, if he didn't come down, oh y'all don't hear what I'm saying. He wouldn't come down until he paid the price for you and me. That's what he did for us. He stayed up there yes. until it was all paid up. Oh, yeah. And because of that, what? I just want to say thank you to you. I want to say thank you, Lord, thank you. for doing something that I could not do for myself. Yes. He wouldn't come down yes. even when the sun refused to shine. Oh, yeah. He wouldn't come down even when the light is struck. He wouldn't come down when the sin dies on fire breaking. He wouldn't come down when the thunder roar. But I come to tell somebody, he's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. He's the prince of prince. And I thank God. Oh, I thank God. I thank God for his mercy. Oh, y'all don't know how to help me. When we're going through what we're going through in this nation, y'all don't know how it helped me. How it helped me to know I got somebody that believes in righteousness, believes in love, believes in compassion. Oh, y'all just don't know how it is when I come to think about it. Our God, he's a mighty God. I saw this man die before my eyes. And I cried, I thought about my boys. I thought about my three boys. And I want to tell somebody, you got to get with the program. Try Jesus. He'll give you love. He'll give you grace. And he'll give you mercy. All I'm saying is that we need a God right now. And I thank God that I understand who he is. He's Jesus the Christ. He's done more for me in my life. He's done more for me and my family. He's done more for me and my members and, 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 and all of the members that I know that believe in him. This church wasn't built on just a building. It was built on a man who laid down his life. No greater person laid down his life for me and you. And because he did that, I can look my enemies in my eyes. And in their eyes, I can say to them, I forgive you. I can say I love you unconditionally. But I also got a warning message for them. You better get right. Even in the church. Church, let's get right and let's try. Amen.
for Appalachia Shoals Missionary Baptist Church where we are one in the spirit and we pray that you would enjoy this message and we pray that you would hold it in your heart and believe me the next time that you see us we will be praising our God and Jesus
know that we love the Lord is not because uh, we love him, it's because he loved us first. And because of the church that we serve, there are two communions, one of baptism and the other of uh, the communion, which we call the Last Supper. And we pray that you would not take this an unworthy matter. And so therefore, we must remind ourselves to be able to pray and ask for forgiveness. And we will have a prayer from our very own our minister, Mark. Dear God, we come right now, God, to ask you to change this from a common use to a spiritual use, Lord God. Father God, if there's any sin, Lord God, we're coming asking right now, God, that you would forgive us for our sins, Lord God. Able this wine to be used for spiritual use in Jesus' name, Lord God. Yes, Lord, yes. Father God, we know it's nothing but the blood. Lord, and we thank you for your blood that you shed on Calvary, Lord God. Yes. And we give you praise and we give you honor, God. In the name of Jesus, we do ask it all. Amen. We thank God for this opportunity to come to you and to be able to serve these holy sacraments. We want you to understand that over 2,000 years in the upper room, the night that Jesus was betrayed, and as he was eating with his disciples, he took the bread, he broke it, and then he blessed it and said, take, eat, this is my body. And likewise, he did the same uh, with the cup. He took the cup, he gave thanks, and he gave it to his disciples. He said, drink this. Well, this is the new covenant, and this is the remission of sins that I shed with my blood. So now let us be able to commune together. And so when we take our communion, we must realize what Christ has did for us. Like I said before, on that night, on the night that he was betrayed, he took the bread, he broke it, and he blessed it. Take eat. Let us all eat together. And likewise, he took the cup and he gave thanks and he gave it to his disciples. He said, drink ye all, for this is the new covenant for the remission of sin. Let us all drink. Now we have a situation where in the old Bible it tells us that they went and sung hymns and went out to the mountain. And we know that the blood still works. The blood still has power. And because of that, we just thank God for this opportunity. Thank you.